okay so today's topic is stepper motors so first uh, introduction uh, as you can see uh, this is the basic figure of a uh, 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 stepper motor which has eight poles okay a stepper motor uh, stepper motors are dc motors that move in that move in discrete steps uh, stepper motor is a brushless synchronous uh, electric motor that converts digital pulses into mechanical shaft rotation so what uh, we can see here is a stepper motor is different from uh, basic uh, dc motors and synchronous motors uh, in a manner that it can be controlled the its motion is controlled uh, uh, by using digital pulses so in simple motors uh, what we have is a uh, a mo motion is a uh, continuous motion but in this uh, stepper motor as the name suggests it has uh, it has uh, steps uh, of uh, motion is in steps so the steps can be controlled by uh, digital pulses or a control circuitry or by a kind of computer by a controller or many other things uh, we can have a precise motion and precise precision control is there so it's very important and uh, in this motor there are uh, two types of uh, two types of motions are there uh, we can have a uh, reverse motion as well as we can have forward motion uh, it can be it can depend upon only on uh, the polarity of the voltage if we can uh, magnetize the coils in the reverse manner then it can also move in reverse motion uh, while the uh, the other motors like stepper motor uh, uh, synchronous motors and dc motors they cannot move in both manners Okay. like all motors the stepper motors also have a stator and a rotor but unlike a normal dc motor the stator consists of individual sets of coils okay so what this point is about is the stepper motor and simple motors or synchronous or dc motors they have different uh, stator types in this uh, the stator has individual coils while the other motors have uh, a single coil or two coils only so these individual coils are used for uh, providing only steps motion okay uh, when we want to move a stepper motor we uh, magnetize only a pair of coils these are the coils i will show you this one is a pair similarly this one is a pair similarly this one is a pair and so on so if we magnetize one of the pairs like first we magnetize a a dash so it makes a phase it the pair uh, known as phase so it moves like this first we magnetize a dash then we off this and we magnetize bb dash then and so on so it can turn in steps the number of coils will differ based on type of stepper motor 
I want to step on motor is just like what we like is how much the step angle is this is required. So if we want num um, more number of steps, then we require less number of uh, less uh, step angle. Uh, so we require large number of uh, coils. Uh, but for the understanding, you just uh, you can see that rotor consists of metal, metal poles and each pole will be attracted by a set of coil in the stator. So each stator coil is having a north and south pole when it magnetizes. Similarly, the rotor is also having some pairs which are having a north and south poles. Uh, alternately this diagram which is here I have shown uh, is a stepper motor with eight stator poles and six rotor poles you can see uh, a a dash one uh, two poles or you can say one phase b b dash four c c dash six d d dash eight so eight stator eight stator poles and uh, you can see on a uh, rotor one two three four five six this is known as six rotor poles if you take a look at the coils on the stator they are arranged in terms of coil pairs called phases so what i have said earlier is this a, a pair of uh, poles or stator poles are known as phase so each of the coil, this coil pairs form an electromagnet and they can be energized individually using a driver circuitry. Driver circuitry is basically a uh, control circuitry which uh, sends digital pulses and by using digital pulses we can control this uh, uh, motion of a stepper motor. If we increase the frequency of the digital pulses, the motion, the step, uh, the motion or the uh, frequency of steps is increased. When a coil gets energized, it acts as a magnet and rotor pole gets aligned to it. Similar type of uh, manner in which synchronous and DC motors are move. Similarly, stable motors can move, but it has many stator coils therefore uh, it has a steps motion each time when an when a pair of uh, uh, stator coils are magnetized uh, a, a rotor uh, tends to align uh, its poles with the um, uh, stator coil poles so uh, that's how we can uh, first we uh, energized or magnetized uh, a dash then we of this and bb dash uh, is energized in this way it can have a motion of uh, rotor in steps when the rotor rotates to adjust itself to align with the stator it is called as one step okay each when it passes each phase or each pair of coils the rotor uh, it takes whatever turn it takes it is known as a step or it is a step angle minimum angle which is uh, turned by the rotor similarly by energizing the coils in a sequence you can rotate the motor in a, in a small steps to make a complete rotation okay the second uh, one is every revolution of a stepper motor is divided into a discrete number of steps. So full revolution it requires how much angle? It, it consists of this 60 degree angle. So uh, depending upon the individual coils or number of coils these steps can be increased or decreased. If number of coils are more then each step is very small then it is uh, having a very large number of steps so we can increase the number of steps by increasing the uh, stator coils in many cases it is 200 steps 
and the motor must be sent a separate pulse for each step. The stepper motor can only take one step at a time and each step is same size. The property or the beauty of this uh, stepper motor is that it can have many steps or different type of steps, different number of steps, but always the each step is of same size or same angle. Since each pulse causes the motor to rotate a precise angle, typically 1.8 degree, the motor's position can be controlled without any feedback mechanism. What uh, here 1.8 degree is the example, not a fixed uh, angle. This angle is dependent upon the uh, stator coils. Okay. So uh, in this stepper motor, we don't require any feedback mechanism. As the digital pulses increase in frequency, the step movement changes into continuous rotation with this type of rotation directly proportional to the frequency of the pulses. So what is this point is about is if, as we move uh, the stepper motor rotor by using high frequency, then when we see from uh, a large distance it is it it can be seen like a continuous rotation but in a stepper motor there is never the uh, cons uh, continuous motion or if we require a continuous motion then we can move to uh, any of the uh, dc motor or synchronous motor okay so uh, or uh, also there is a limit on frequency of pulses with a computer controlled stepping, you can achieve very precise positioning and or speed control. So it is uh, the advantage of the uh, stepper motor that we can have a very precise or uh, you can have a very controlled speed control in, uh, present in here. For this reason, stepper motors are used as the motor of choice for many precision motion control applications. So, if we have a very precise control of speed, then we can use uh, this motor in precision control applications. Stepper motors are used every day in both industrial and commercial applications because of their low cost, high reliability, high torque at low speeds, and a simple product construction that operates in almost any environment. So, stepper motors have many advantages for commercial as well as industrial applications. Like they are very, uh, have, they are having very low cost. They are very liable because they depend upon the control circuitry which is in our control uh, or digital pulses. Uh, they are very high uh, reliable and we can achieve very high torque with low speeds. The speeds are low, very simple construction is there. So uh, low power also. Stepper motors comes in different sizes and styles and electrical characteristics. So there are different types of stepper motors out there so they are uh, different sizes but not very large if we require very large uh, motion or uh, synchronous uh, synchronous motors out there which have very high uh, power ratings the basic construction uh, as we know motors are having the basic construction with the rotor and the stator so the central idea here is we require a rotor which is moving in turns in small steps by using magnetizing in the, the by magnetizing the stator coils in steps like first we energize one phase then the second phase then third phase like this the inside that is rotor of a stepper motor turns by small discrete amounts that is steps because the outside the rotor is applies magnetic impulses that pull and push it along so as we know that uh, the rotor poles tend to align themselves uh, with the uh, stator poles so it is a basic idea the rotor so first we have to learn about rotor the rotor itself is made from two discs a little like gears one of which is a magnetic north pole and the other is a south pole so uh, rotor has and the other rotors and the other motors have rotors uh, which is which are fixed 
but in this case it has two discs like when we put our hands together then the we our fingers make the gears so small steps and the north and south poles are alternate when we put the two discs back to back we get north and south pole teeth alternating around the edge if you find that hard to picture imagine your left hand and is a magnetic north pole and is colored red while uh, your right hand is a magnetic south pole and colored blue if you put one hand on the top of the other so the fingers of one hand alternate with the fingers of the other then look down you will see alternate nodes and soft teeth the fingers around the edge that's effectively what we have in the rotor of my step so very basic uh, construction there are two discs suppose the two discs are of uh, two hands we put them together one of which is a north pole and the other one is a south pole each finger is a teeth so if we put them like uh, alternately each finger is having a, a neighbor of like if one finger is of north pole the other alternate finger of uh, the other hand is of south pole so we have alternately north south north south like this if it is having north then south then north then south then north then south okay the second uh, important is um, the stator the second important part of the uh, motor is the stator around the edge of the rotor we have the stator in this example four electromagnets that can be switched on and off individually here uh, four magnets is an example like for in the first one here we have four but in first one it is having eight so the number can be changed for magnets that can be switched on and off individually generally the electromagnets in a stepper motor work in pairs which each opposing pair of magnets switching on together to make a north pole at the same time followed by the magnets at right angles which also work together so each pair is known as phase exactly what switch is on when depends on how many rotor teeth or steps there are and how many electromagnetic coils surround them. the geometry and alignment of a stepper motor has to be just right to make the rotor turn so the basic idea is the stator has fixed coils but number of coils depend upon the uh, how you want to have a, a step angle what size of a step angle you require so like you can see as we i have told you that the motion is totally dependent on the supply if we change the polarity of the uh, supply we can change the direction of motion of the uh, rotor or the stepper motor can change its polarity uh, with the polarity it can change its motion also direction of motion also so it is very controlled uh, motion present in the stepper motor so it is very uh, highly recommended uh, motor for precise control applications these are the internal components of a stepper motor so here you can see that these are the two stators and the two coils are there in this one is a rotor similar here we have a rotor and the coils are there four uh, poles of a stator coil and two poles of uh, the rotor coils this is the cross section of the stepper motor so 
next is uh, the working principle so as you know the working principle depends upon the uh, stator coils uh, stator coils have a discrete number of uh, coils uh, and which are energized by external digital forces and the rotor coils are also there which have alternate north and south poles so you can have a controlled control mechanism so uh, we have uh, completed our task